สวัสดีครับ um, I would like to say congratulations and welcome all students to Chiang Mai University. My name is uh, Abhishek s o p a d a y I am the associate dean for the academics affair. Today I will spend around 20 minutes in order to talking with you guys about the graduate study at CMU. Okay. So about the graduate study at CMU. This year is is the first time in history that we have um, the orientation online. I don't know that it is the the the, the life for you that take a look at life, or you can take a look later with the video clip. But if you have any question, you can just message uh, the graduate school or discuss or message or talk with some of the staff that we have. We will try to answer you any question. And if you stay around in Chiang Mai University already, you can go to the grad school in the campus. So I will spend, as I told, around 20 minutes to talking a little bit about the grad study at CMU. This is a uh, we call Salatham. Salatham is a uh, is a place that. Located in the front grade of the CMU, it's really nice to take a visit. This is a very, very important place for for us, for the CMU people. This is the list of the the management teams at the graduate school, led by Professor Wang e c h a i s e n g i n We also have Professor w a l a t a t Professor Wan Tita. And Professor Asin and me work together in order to help you go through the process of study here at Chiang Mai University. First thing that I want all students to take a look at, at is the website of the graduate school. If you go to the website of the graduate school, you can take a look at the curriculum. You can take a look at the t c system. Take a look at the academic calendar, and also some scholarship that we have in order to help student residential scholarship, T A R A scholarship, and also some other graduate scholarship that can help you. Sometimes it's a travel scholarship, presentation, go for go for the conference scholarship. Another website you need you need to take a look at, especially during the COVID situation, or especially during the first time that you come to Chiang Mai University, is the registration office. Because of uh, the announcement, the academic, the update of academic calendar is that at the the website or the registration office. And also the website of the graduate school, the regulation, the announcement, the guideline is there. So spend time with that. You can take a look at another program in CMU. You may probably take course or enroll for another class in another program if you want. Beside the the. The class that are the course that you will take for your program. In order to study here in Chiang Mai University, the foreign language requirement is a must. You need to pass the test of the foreign language before you do the proposal. The t c system and the requirement for graduate. So please take a look at that. And also, please take a look closely at the required for each individual study program. 
we have the guideline. And one thing that's really important for the international student is your visa. You need to maintain your visa situation. So if some student have a problem with the visa, you need to go to the second floor of the private school. We have staff there that help that can help you in order to go through the, the problem with your the with your visa situation. These are websites of the registration office as I, I show you. You see, this is the website that I just captured for you. Announcement, the changes in uh, academics calendar is there. Like this year, we have orientation today, July 3rd. But for some of you guys that did not go live with me now, you can also take a look at this clip. If you take a look at this clip later, please know that the first day of the class is July 8th. You need to take the course enrollment during July 2nd and July 3rd. Some students may say, oh, professor, I have a problem. I did not do anything during 2nd and 3rd. Don't worry. You can still add, withdraw, or drop with W later on based on the academic calendar of the CMU. Normally, we, we provide around two to three weeks. So please take a look at the academic calendar and you will know exactly how to do it. Graduate study at CMU begin 10 years after the, the founding of the university. We begin since 1974 with only 34 students for the first batch. And the graduate school established in 1926. Some students may want to know, oh, Professor, how big of the series? I can say, like, if we count the total student bachelor and master degree and PhD or, or the diploma together, we have around 32,000 students and each year we will have around 7,000 new students and for the graduate study we will have around 1,500 to 1,700 students come each year. This is uh, the size of the CMU. If you're talking about the academic staff, we have around 2,300 and we have around 12,000 of supporting staff. For the studies program, here at CMU, we have more than 300 programs in CMU. And if we count only for the graduate study, more than 200 programs. Now I just want to talk about the study plan here. For the graduate diploma and higher graduate diploma program, normally the program is one year period. But for master degree, normally two years. And doctor degree, for bachelor degree, five years. And master degree, three years. So this is the study plan for each program. But this program is we have we also have the time limit in order to study. The graduate diploma is around three years. Master degree program we allow five years. Doctor degree program if you come from bachelor. Eight year. And doctor program, if you come from master degree, is six year program. So please do not use more than this time if you want to graduate from CMU. But I love you guys to stick with this strategy plan. Two years from master degree, 
three years or five years for doctor degree. Don't spend this. Okay. In the system of the study here, yes. Now you already passed the admission system. One thing that you need to do is the English language proficiency test. You need to pass the test. For some of the students that that come to Chiang Mai, you need to prove that you pass that test before you do the proposal. I say before you do the proposal, we have the requirement. After you pass the test, of in this test, you can submit the proposal and then do the thesis. Now, the, the proposal, the thesis, we can do it online. The EDC, we can do it online. Ah, take a break a little bit. This is the, the big issue work at Chiang Mai. At Chiang Mai University, we call Ang Yang. Really nice place to take a visit, especially the morning time. See, you can take exercise in this area. Hope you enjoy to study in Chiang Mai. About the enrollment, so please follow the academic calendar that I said. Please follow the required for each degree. You need to take a look at the required course. You need to take a look at the elective that may have in each degree program. You need to study your program, the study of your study plan very, very carefully. What will you do for the first semester? What do you do for the second semester? And you need to pass all of the requirements. Normally, then you do the Enrollment, the cost enrollment for the regular uh, semester, no more than 15 credits. For the summer semester, no more than 6 credits. But if, if you have very, very important things, if it is the last of your semester, if you say that this is the semester that you will graduate, you can uh, ask for in terms of take the extra credit, such as 16 credit, 17 credits, it may happen based on the approval. But for the normally 15 credit and 6 credit for the cost enrollment, W, you can take a withdraw to avoid to receive the W. You can take a visit the class if uh, the faculty around. You can enroll by, for using the facility of the university without studying the coursework possible. This is the thesis on the IS. You need to pass the foreign language test in order to do the thesis as I mentioned or even for the PhD program, you need to pass the foreign language requirement. But for master degree with the independent study plan, or we call type 3, you can do the proposal first, but before you graduate, you need to complete the six credit of coursework and then later on pass the foreign language test. You need to pass your proposal for the master degree within two academic years and for the doctor degree within three academic years from cover. You may have a question, Professor, what is the, the required for the in foreign language based on this academic year? Actually, CMU or Chiang Mai University, we have our own system in terms of the English test, we call CMU ETEX. For the master degree, you need to pass 60. For the doctoral, 65. Or master degree in international program, you need to pass 65. Okay. The second column and the third column. But the first column is is for the the uh, the, the score, 
that you need to pass in order to be the doctoral student. But in order to pass the proposal, you need to have the second column or the third column, depend on master degree or doctoral degree or master degree with international that you may have. This is the requirement. But if you cannot pass, if you cannot pass 60, if you cannot pass 65, but you probably have 40, more than 40, or more than 45, we allow you to go to the health center, humanities academic service, to study there, to upgrade your English, okay, and then take a test until you pass the required. This is the condition in order to fulfill the test to pass the test before do the proposal. And this is the more normally calendar of the test that we call simulated. Normally you can take a test on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday by doing the application at www.li.cmu.ac.th and the test is run for two years. It's really cheap for this test. But if you say Okay, I, I already have TOEFL, I already have IELTS, you already have TOEIC, you can use it. Or you can go and have a CMU e -tech test, okay? But because of the COVID situation, now the test, they have a special schedule, not the normal schedule. So please take a look at the website of Lancaster Institute that publish this um, this calendar for for take a test during June and July this year. So please take a look at this. You have the we have the registration desk, we have the announcement desk of the candidates and also have the test date. And they also have some update of the score, listening, structuring, writing, vocabulary, reading and speaking. This is the test score. And this is the website of the Health Center. As I mentioned, if you cannot pass a test, but you have the score more than 40, you can go to the Health Center and study there and then take a test there for you to help you to pass the English requirement test. And for the for the graduate student, you can also apply for the scholarship that help you to, to spend some uh, budget to help you to study at the health center. We have scholarship for that, for the student also. This is during the summertime for the CMU. In order for all the students to graduate, first check that you pass all of the required course, all of the fulfilled requirement for each study plan for each curriculum. The GPA, you need to greater than 3, including this is only program. So exclude the this is only program, because they have only thesis. Pass a foreign language requirement, pass a comprehensive examination, pass a thesis or independent study, and publish part of your research work in the journal of conference. This is the required. Actually, CMU also have the required. This is the, 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 the required for the master degree program. Such as they say, if you complete the type one program, you need to publish at least one paper in the national journal in the Thailand Citation Index or TCI tier one, or present in the national conference at least. If you come with title, at least one paper must be published and at least access to publish in a national journal. If you come with the type 3 program, at least one paper must be published in CMU graduation journal or others academic publication that approved by the field of study and by the graduate school. But for the doctor degree, yes. They have. You need to pass the conference and also the international journal. 
some degree program may probably be two or three uh, papers. So please take a look closely at your program. What is the required in order to graduate? Some programs say specifically in the database, which database, which database that the program needs. So take a look closely. So you know this, this, this list is the minimum requirement for the graduate school. But some program they have the requirement that higher than the requirement of the graduate school. So we need to pass that. So this is an example of that. And when you publish, you need to say like uh, at least one publication. You must specify that you are the student and and you are the first author and give the affiliation of the greatest program in blah 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 from Chiang Mai University. The scholarship, as I mentioned, we have many kinds of the scholarship. Go to the website, study about the scholarship, and if you see, you feel that some scholarship is suitable for you, apply for it. We have many kinds of the scholarship. This is, I'm sorry for, for the detail, but, but as you can see, the English, they have the require, the request, uh, the support, the training, and that's it. Just for a short and quick uh, orientation, I can conclude like uh, actually when you come here, you need to study, uh, do a study plan very carefully. Do the registration for each class based on your study plan. Try to pass the English test do the proposal and then do your research work. Participate in academic activities. During you do your research work, publish your, your work in the conference or in the uh, journals. Sometimes it's national, sometimes it's international, depend on the requirement for each program. And based on that, you can pass all the requirements and receive the degree. Hopefully that when you study here, you can learn something from Chiang Mai University, gain some knowledge, and enjoy your life here at Chiang Mai University. And if you feel that you have some question, if you need some support when you study here at CMU, go to the credit building. We have staff. We have uh, many people that try to help you to go through every problem that you probably have. And if you want to talk with me, you can come to the great building second floor. And on that floor, you, will, you can take a look and see me there. I, my office is on the second floor and I can talk to you. And again, Welcome and congratulations. Hope to see you again real life, not the, the online orientation like that. Goodbye. So they help.